Hello and welcome. So tonight we're doing another uh, King of Death Multi Unboxing. This time is the uh, Dun Beetle Knight. The box is the same size as the, all the others. Uh, it is a uh, 11 by 9 by 3 inches thick. Simple cardboard label. So uh, basically the same pattern as all the other expansions, deck of cards, your cards, uh, rule book, um, some sprues, uh, base, uh, innovation card. This one also has an innovation card, card dividers, and that's it. Okay, so start, let's start looking at the cards first. So, all right, so we have strange resources. Um, all right, our resources. <clears throat> oh, very nice artwork. Different from the other cards. Seems a little bit more uh, well done, I guess. Well, at least more realistic. These are the uh, hit look, um, hunting events. Hit location. Um. AI cards, advanced, basic, specials, legendary. Tactics, disorders, um, terrain, innovations, fighting arts, secret fighting arts, reference card, and the rolling armor, which I believe is what you do with the stuff that these <clears throat> this guy drops okay so next up um so next up the well there should be gear cards although this is called the uh, wet resin crafter so let's see we have the wet resin crafter um jewelry flammable these look like consumables again. Uh, item bone leather. It's a harness. Circlet jewelry. Consumables. And a true item. Next up we have. Uh, these are double face, so. Hmm. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. Hmm. Are two handed heavy sword, um, greaves, and another sword. Oh, maybe jargon blade. Yeah, so these items are double faced. So, this is the first time I see this type of item, the stuff of card, and rare gear. Jewel, crown. Yeah. We on to the card divider and uh, the innovation. And card divider. So card divider and your card divider. <clears throat> and the The wet resin crafter, which probably is a, which allows you to build all the items related to this 
monster. Rubok now, uh, apologies, very glossy as all the other ones. And pretty much the same how to, what's in the box, how to use what's in the box in the game. Uh, there's some explanation here as to the uh, double sided cards. Some background story. Uh, a little bit more text than the other expansion, so. Story events. And different like style also. So finally, um, screws. So we have four bases, uh, one 250 millimeter, 230 millimeter, same as all the other expansions. Like uh, there are two pieces. Uh, one has a little texture, and the other has the uh, King on Death logo or whatever this is. Uh, with I love poots in there. Let's begin with the first screw. This is this is called the Dung Beetle Knight Kit Mayo. So it has two legs, uh, the two parts of the torso, the hip, arms, shoulders. I'm not sure what is this. Maybe shoulder pads, uh, head and. And that's about it. So I assume this builds uh, one of the uh, 30 millimeter bases miniatures. Next up, this is the uh, Dung Beetle Knight Kit F dash uh, F slash P. It has all the items. Yeah, the swords, the pickaxes, pair of legs, some hands. Um, Yeah, I guess these will probably put together. Yeah, there's some female hair here, face. Yeah, this will put together. And these are the items plus the female version of the, uh, I guess, the full armor. I have the Dang Middle Knight itself. So it has the, uh, let's see, it has the ball, which I guess is one of the parts of the, the monster fight. So two pieces here, one with the face. Shoulders with the socket for the head. This looks like part of the base. Uh, tights and like midsection here. Uh, legs. It's kind of hard to. It's a weird monster, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's it. All right. So final thoughts now. Uh, again, this is another sixty dollar expansion. Um, it's definitely not the worst, but also not the uh, I don't know, best thing for Buck. Uh, that still uh, remains a gore, in my opinion. Uh, it has more. Well, this one has well, a decent amount of plastic. There's a ton of cards here, gear. So it has new armor for you to to grind for. So I assume uh, gameplay value is uh, probably somewhat high. Um, but yeah, I think this this is a decent price. Um, maybe a slightly overpriced, I guess. But in comparison, um, it's it's well, around the average from from the the good expansions. I would say this is probably in my current rank so far. I guess this would be like second or third. Uh, so yeah, I think I would put this one between the Lion God and the Flower Knight. Yeah around there anyway it's a nice scope but not like uh, the most amazing one um, so yeah so we have like four uh four miniatures in the expansion um 250 millimeter bases which you it's kind of decent size then two full armor so you have uh, uh, uh you know you have gameplay value added uh the scopes are obviously pretty much in line with everything else although these one um, there's not nothing particularly, you know, attractive to them. I think some of the swords kind of have a, a nice design. Um, this ball thing here, um, obviously something different to paint. 
Um, the monster itself, um, yeah, at least on the sprues, doesn't seem to have a lot, but anyway, that's what it is. So it's kind of a, yeah, I would say it's an average comparison to, to the other. It's like uh, not the worst, uh, definitely not the best expansion uh, and not the best bang for buck, but no, it's, it's um, I guess it's uh, decently priced uh, again. In, in in like uh, in putting in perspective to the other expansions um, that's it hope you liked the video uh, thanks for watching see you next time